Hello guys, hello. Welcome everybody. Live cooking episode, what was it? 83? 83, yeah. Live cooking episode 83. I'm gonna make something. I did already do that kind of in the past a little bit somehow. Um, so it's not really a new recipe. But I really wanted to eat it today and while I was making the shopping list for it, I was like, you know what? I might as well go on and stream it. So here we are today. Uh, we're going to eat a vegetarian pasta meal with pesto. I think I did, yeah, we did uh, pesto two episodes ago. So we're going to make that again. So that's kind of like not newish. Uh, I also did pasta pesto in the past. Slightly different than this one. Um... But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun here. Lieve gisteren als vandaag, ja, nog even volhouden, nog een paar nachtjes slapen en dan lekker naar het nieuwe huisje. Like dubbing me and Hunter Lafen, like that's Yunusko's wife. They're gonna move to their new house this Saturday, so they're really excited for that. I request my chicken to be changed only the head it needs a gas mask with the feathers like i have on battlefield that's that's a lot to ask dubbing <laughs> i mean i still got a quite a long list of people that are waiting for their chicken so would not be fair to them if i would do yours first or redo yours first um and i kind of like the dubbing chicken to be honest you want the gas mask Gary hat with the feathers? <laughs> I'll see what I can do, dubbing. But yeah, like like I said, there are a couple of people. Random mic disconnection. Uh, yeah, there are a couple of people on the list that want the chicken too. And as you know, dubbing, it's a lot of work. So first I have to do the, their chickens and that will take a long time to do too because I don't have a lot of time for that. Uh, and inspiration too. You kind of need, you got to feel the vibe to do that, you know, because it's a lot of work. You really have to sit down for that. But I'll keep it in mind dubbing. But it might take a while. Um, back to the cooking. Uh, we're going to have a look at the ingredients as always, as always. Ingredients are here on the right and I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can actually see the stuff as well. Marijke heeft even de film pauze gezet. Welke film was je aan het kijken? So, switching the camera. Let's have a look at these lovely ingredients. Look at that. There's so many delicious stuff here. I can't even fit it like all of it on the screen. So, the Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Ooh, ga je door de hele, hele, hoe heet het heen? Lots of green indeed, yes. It's going to be a really green dish when it's finished. Um, for starters, we're going to make this pasta with some penna pasta. You can use whatever pasta you like. I'm using the penna. And also, I got some mozzarella over here, right here, two of them, and some tomatoes. I'll show you guys in a bit what I'm going to do with that. We're going to spike them and then put that in the oven. The oven is set to 180 degrees Celsius. We're only going to need the oven like really shortly to kind of melt the mozzarella. That's basically it. And we're going to mix that. Um, pasta with some green beans. I got green beans over here. Don't need a lot, like about 75 grams, maybe a little bit less. I got some garden peas over here, deep frozen. Uh, that's kind of how they sell it over here. I never actually seen the uh, garden peas not frozen in the supermarket. They're always frozen, but that's good. It's like right after they harvest it, they freeze it, they put it in the freezer. So you always have fresh uh, fresh peas and also it conserves the vitamins in it a lot better too. Um, also some aragula or rucola or rocket, depends where you live in the world. Everybody uses a different name for that. 
most people think this is lettuce, but it's actually a herb. Like it's being used as a lettuce, but it's not actually lettuce. It's it's falls under the genre of herbs, just like basil, for example. Speaking of basil, look at that. We're going to use that for the pesto. See how I did that little transition? Love it. Unfrozen peas coming in thin. Yeah, but not like these particular peas. Like I can in indeed go to the supermarket and buy a can of peas, like uh, doperte. I don't know what, what they're called in English. Yo, but never the garden peas. The garden peas are always frozen, at least where I live. Um, so basil, a whole bush of that. That's for the pesto. We need another couple of things for the pesto. I got some cheese rasp over here. Fake cheese, guys, fake cheese. Gonna keep it a little bit budget meal, right? Uh, I got some cashew nuts, again, budget wise. Not that cashew nuts are cheap, but usually you would make the pesto with uh, pine nuts, but everybody knows pine nuts are really expensive. If you want to become rich, all you have to do is start a pine nut farm and sell it. What's up, Jeffrey? Pine nuts are really expensive. Uh, so I use the cashew nuts. It maybe, well, I don't think it actually really matters that much. If you have enough of the right stuff in there, then the pe your pesto will be great anyway. We don't have a bullshit command. No, no, no. So, basil, cheese, nuts. We're going to use some garlic too for the pesto and pepper and salt. And that's basically it. Jeffrey, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to start off <coughs> by boiling some water. Now I need three pans. Got three of them. I got a big one for the pasta. I got a slightly smaller one for the peas. And I got another small one for the green bees. And I'm going to start boiling all three of them. Well, not the pan, but the water inside the pan. Thank you, Dubbing. I was waiting for that explanation mark fake. I was waiting for it, but I guess it kind of took some time for you guys to get the hint. The explanation mark fake command, that's uh, the green rabbit's legacy right there. So I'm uh, quickly filling all the pans with some water. Then we're going to start cutting up some of the beans. Then we'll get to making the pesto and we're going to boil everything shortly and then we're going to mix it together that's one pan that's two pan that's three pans there you go all right so let's start with the green beans let's put everything aside for a second Green beans, there you go. I need my knife, my fancy knife. I cleaned it, Jeffrey, I cleaned my knife. Jeffrey was here a couple of weeks ago and I showed him my knife, but it, I didn't clean it well. So he was like, nice knife, but it's dirty. So Jeffrey, just for you, I cleaned it. I hope, I hope that makes you happy. Let me expand my chat real quick. Jeffrey's doing good. Happy to hear that, sir. Still happy with the new ride, uh, the new ride you got, your new, your new car. If it ever breaks down, you can bring it to Dubbing. He's a mechanic. He can fix it for you. Maybe put some nitro in it. So the pants, floppy, small, medium. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, basically Dubbing, basically. You're still happy like what you hear a lot with people who just got a new car they they use any excuse to take it out for a spin you know oh i need to go to my parents who live on the other side of the street i'm gonna grab the car you know is that the same thing with you jeffrey you use it for everything right now i 
I need a little bin to put my stuffies in. So I can throw it in a green bin later. At 100 trillion. You can't even drive that fast on the Dutch highways. Yeah, free. Shit. What's up, Cup God? You drove 3k in 3 weeks? Oh, shit. Yeah, see? That's what I meant. Like, when you just get the car, you want it. How are you doing, uh, Ethan? Yeah, it's a beautiful car, uh, dubbing. He showed me when he was here. He was so happy. Like a child in a candy store. I'm good, Cup God. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight it's Battlefield Hype. Oh, one of the beans kind of slipped underneath the laptop here. There you go. It was a nice ride. Nice uh, paint job too. All the fancy gadgets inside. You will join me on the battlefield, Conrad. I'm happy to hear that, sir. I'm happy to hear that. So, we got those beans ready. We're gonna have to wait for the water to boil, so... By the way, guys, this will kind of be a short stream, because I don't have to do a lot for this. I got my blender. So, I'm gonna take two garlic, two cloves of garlic. Well, that one was a little bit small, so I'm going to add the little one as well. Kind of all depends on how big the garlic is, you know. It varies. Anyway, we got that in. Also, some cashew nuts. I'm not going to add the whole bowl. That's way too much. There you go. And the cheese. Oh, you guys were playing yesterday. Yeah, I wasn't there yesterday because I was playing Hunt Showdown with Yunusko. My, my buddy Yunusko and I, we're kind of on it lately with Hunt Showdown. We became quite good, I must say. So, adding quite a lot of olive oil there as well. There you go. shouldn't be the bearing. Uh, straks zeker weer of niet? Nee. Vanavond ga ik Battlefield spelen, Marije. So, I'm gonna start blending this. Let me switch the camera here for you guys. Hold on. Oh, wrong button. So I got my blender over here. First I'm gonna mix the cheese, nuts, garlic and oil. And then we'll add... Oh, hold on. Why is it not working? There you go. And then we'll add the basil to it. You know why it was a bad match, Cup God? Because dubbing left. That's why. There was nobody there to revive you anymore. Uh, but I will see if I can find where it is coming from. Otherwise, I'll drop it off at the dealer and ha let them have a look. Why well, it, you know, these smaller vehicles, Jeffrey, are tend to like shake more the faster you go. You know, they're not really built for those speeds. But I, I guess 120 kilometers an hour isn't that super super fast, so it shouldn't be happening. So yeah, maybe. Let it uh, be checked indeed. Because it's also like a new car, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's a new car and they did the service, etc. It sounds more like a loose panel or something. Or like a cable. Alright, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Best to have it looked at then. You don't want to drive on the highway and then all of a sudden you kind of slide over the highway because you just lost your wheels, you know? <laughs> 
like, whoa, what's going on? Oh, that's that's just Jeffrey sliding over the highway. <laughs> so, let's grab the basil. Look at that. Lovely. I'm going to grab a scissors for that. There you go. What's up, Jenna? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Mine starts to vibrate at 150. We don't know how much that is, dubbing. You British bastard. We do kilometers, not miles. Get on the same page. How many times do I have to tell you? God damn it. We don't know how fast that is. How are you doing, Jenna? 150. Why are you driving that fast, Dubbing? Why you do this? You got kids. You wanna you wanna have them grow up without a daddy? What's wrong with you, Dubbing? Bastard. Hi Jenna. You're cleaning right now? Uh, it is that I already did my cleaning. Otherwise, I would have asked you to come here and clean my house as well. You know? Because I can. Dubbing you, fuck. You got children. You gotta be more careful, man. But also, if you get caught, it costs you a lot of money. So you got double the reason not to drive that fast. Let's add a little bit more olive oil to that. So this is way too much pesto for just this meal. So all everything I got left, I'll just put that uh, in a cup or something and use it as a spread for my bread. You know, have some cheese on that as well. What's up, Yunusko? Hi buddy. Oh, pss, I wanted to do like this. This is not how it works, Jimona. Yeah, just just use kilometers, dubbing. Just get on the same page like the rest of the world. Sounds something plastic, so I'm not worried, just annoyed. Alright. Yeah, but still, for all you know, it might be something important and then maybe an accident happens or something. Die dop past niet, is een beetje te groot, ja. Dumbing do the shouty to Janusko, maybe maybe we can see Jana's face too up in that overlay dubbing. Or did she change, I think she changed her profile image the other day. Like she used to have a photo, but not anymore. So pesto is coming along nicely. Also the water for the beans started to boil. So I'm going to add that as well. There you go. We're only going to boil it for like four minutes. Briefly. That's your face. Ah shit. Lovely face. Pesto is the best though. Yeah and if you got like a blender or a mixer. It's really easy to make yourself. And it's way more delicious than all those pre-made pestos. Alright, I need to add some stuffies to that as well. The thing with pesto is, guys, you gotta add a lot of salt to it. Like, more than you would, like, think is good. Because, um, otherwise it will be so plain in flavor. And usually, you know, when you add pesto to a recipe, like we're doing right now, 
you don't taste it anymore if there's not enough salt in there. So I'm using sea salt right now. You can also use table salt. But yeah, you gotta don't be gentle with uh, with the salt. That's what I'm trying to say. When you make it and you taste it and you think like, damn, that's really salt, then you know it's good. Also, some black pepper to that. Let's say uh, about uh, three teaspoons there. Mix that up further. Got some clone machine stuffies going on. Pesto Maya. Oh yeah. Pesto mayonnaise. That was uh, something you mentioned the other day as well, Cup God. I still have to try that out. I still have some mayonnaise in the fridge, so whatever is left over from this meal with the pesto, I can use that to mix it and try it out. How do you uh, how do you use it though, Cup God? Do you use it like uh, on the bread or maybe something else, some toast? It isn't consistent, the sound you're hearing. So sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And guys, after the chickens, let me have a taste here. The pesto. Mmm. Yummy. All right. Perfect. Really salt, but that's what you want. Mm, salad dressing, toast sometimes. In a chicken burger. Ooh. I think I'll try that last one. Or what Genusco says, like dip it, dip your potato chips into it. Sounds good. All right. We got the pesto ready. Let's uh, go back to the cutting board. Flip it around again. Hello laptop. We don't want to see the laptop here. So I need the bowl to put the pesto in. Let's see. A slightly bigger one. This will do. Also gonna add the garden peas now to the hot water you don't really need to boil peas just gotta heat them up inside hot water but you don't have to boil them look at those guys going after the chickens like that only two more weeks left guys it's week 20 started today then we still got week 21 and then it's all finished season three of the chicken farm we're almost there dubbing we can assume dubbing is going to win right especially now the fox is not there anymore for the rest of the season Right, I still have to mix it up a little bit further. Because as you can see, the oil isn't mixed up all that well along with the rest of the ingredients yet. That's because I'm doing it inside the blender and not a kitchen machine, because my kitchen machine is broken. clean my board real quick with a 1.3 million lead yeah and Barb she 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 did her best to get closer but yeah it's not likely she'll still catch up with dubbing anymore I'm cleaning my blender real quick off camera 
Otherwise, if I don't clean it right away, all the stuff kind of gets stuck to it and then it makes it harder to clean, you know. Let's put some hot water in there, like that. Alright, so. Up next is the tomato and mozzarella. And I'm going to kind of make it a little bit fancy looking, I guess. So I'm going to cut it up in slices. That's one. I don't know if he will finish top five. I mean... I think Huntelaar fan is fifth right now. Yeah, she's fifth. So I don't know. It's gonna be hard. I don't know how far behind Jeffrey is on the on the top five. Let's see. Is he even in the top ten? No, oh, he's not even in the top ten anymore. <coughs> Yeah, but if you give them back, then Barb might have a chance to catch up with you, Dubbing. But that's really your decision. We got tomato. Tomato, tomato. Cut that up in slices as well, like that. You're going to give it back on the last day. Very smart of you. <laughs> Yunuska's like, if that happens, can I give Barb some chickens? Yunuska will wait, like, okay, so Dobbin gave it back. Now, Barb only has 1k less than Dobbin. I'm gonna give Barb 1.5k, and then Barb wins. <laughs> that will be tough. <laughs> that will be a dick move. <laughs> On the last day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Janusko? <laughs> I got uh, prickages. I don't know how to call that in uh, English. Spikes? I don't know. Oh, yeah, omdat hij dan bereik van de plek gooit. Ja, ja, ja. In ieder geval zo dat. Uh... Nee, maar dan moet je eigenlijk Marijke de kippen geven, hè? Om Jeffrey dan weer uit de top 5 te. With the bouncer. So, what I'll do here, go like this. See? That's one. Oh. It's like really simple, but it makes it look fancy, you know? It makes it look fancy, but it's simple, so you don't have to do a lot for it. All you need is those little spikes. We got some slices left here that goes into Jamona's mouth. It looks chefy, but it isn't. It's literally spiking some tomatoes and mozzarella. And that's what I'm trying to show here, Jenna. That you can make food look chevy, even though it's not chevy at all, you know? Just like these little, little hacks you can do. Alright, I need to drain the beans real quick. They've boiled for like four minutes. Uh, I need a towel, because the pan is too hot otherwise for me. Hey Kane! 
Alles goed. Ik heb de beans right hier. Mag ik komen bij eten? Ja, is goed hoor. De deur staat open. Ik heb genoeg voor drie. Mooi. Blij om te horen. It's cheese. Ja, yeah, mozzarella, uh, Jenna. Mozzarella. It is the mozzarella. It's like a really soft flavor and texture cheese. Uh... It's uh, made from the milk of a water buffalo. At least, if you got the real mozzarella. Not the fake one. Explanation mark, fake cheese. Shit. Alright. So, these need some flavoring. So what I'm gonna do is... As you can see, there's a lot of oil in there. I'm just gonna scoop out the oil a little bit, like that. There you go. All right. Kane stapt nu in de auto. <laughs> Oké okay man, ik zie je zo. Het eten is over 10 minuten klaar. <laughs> no, there are definitely not mushrooms, Jenna. Definitely not. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's like really easy. I mean, you just cut up some cheese and some tomatoes and just put it on the stick like, like, a, like a pattern, you know? And then... You put it briefly in the oven, like like four to five minutes, so the cheese is slightly melted, you know. And this this goes on top of the the pasta dish uh, once we're finished here. Uh, I need to replace the garden piece to the other side. Hold on. All right. I also need a big stir frying pan. Go. Uh, soort salade caprese. Ja, ja. Alleen caprese is altijd koud, hè? Caprese is altijd koud. Dinner is also ready. Guys, have a good evening. All right, Jeffrey. Thanks for dropping by, man. Appreciate you, sir. Appreciate you a lot. Until we meet again. And bon appetit, indeed. Eet smakelijk. Alright, so I'm gonna put the camera on top of the stove, the stove, so you guys can see it. Welcome back, Cop God. Oh, my camera cable is stuck. Let me see if I can... Yes, perfect. So, let's add the pasta, about 150 grams, otherwise you'll have just too much pasta. like that there you go dankjewel Kane mag ook wel aangezien dat mijn beroep is dus ja yeah. so we got the piece over here all warmed up right now this water of the pasta needs to re boil real quick then we'll cook that al dente as they call it also I got the, the green beans ready briefly boiled But right in the end, we'll put everything in the pan, mix it up, and then we're gonna put that on the plate, which I'm gonna already grab real quick. I need like the fancy plates for this one. Let's see. Like the deep ones, yes, perfect. Look. Fancy plates. That will suit our pasta, perfect. So I see the pasta has already started to boil again. That's good. And 
if you buy the pesto pre-made or make it in advance, then you can finish up this meal real quick, you know? Then you don't won't have to be in the kitchen that long. It's a fast meal, you know? Well, even if you do make it right from scratch when you start cooking, if you got like a kitchen machine or a blender, you can really make this meal pretty fast. Now we have to wait a little bit, guys. How's the weather today? <laughs> Kane, had you nog uh, Battlefield 5 gedownload? Give a shouty to Kane. Weather is nice over in Canada. Nice, nice, nice. It's a warm day today. In, uh, where was it? Ontario? I think it was Ontario. Yeah. So we got the, all the stuff is ready. Just have to wait for the pasta a bit. Southern Ontario. Nice. Ik heb het al gespeeld. Nice. Heb je het op de PC of op de Xbox aangeschaft? We have to wait a little bit, guys. That's the thing with cooking sometimes, you gotta wait. Oh, you had it all on the PC. Oh. I thought that you had it already uh, had uh, You had to go to Xbox for Xbox. Yeah, volgens mij uh, heb je EA uh, Game Pass op Xbox toevallig? Want volgens mij zit hij daarbij inbegrepen. Ik speelt er met heel veel jongens namelijk Kane. Battlefield 5. Heel wat jongens. En elke keer komen er weer nieuwe mensen bij. En op een gegeven moment heb je gewoon, zit iedereen in hetzelfde team, weet je. Dat is wel lachen. Dan heb je gewoon één groot team die met elkaar speelt. Vanavond Battlefield in Wusco. Geen, uh, even geen hunt vanavond, sorry. Ik vond het wel weer leuk gisteren, Jinusko. Pika Pika! Pikachu! Voor PC betaal ik 100 euro per jaar voor alle games van EA. Oh, nice. So, it's time to put these beautiful tomato mozzarella. I don't know how to call it. Decorational stuffies inside the oven. Uh, I got it set at 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's roughly mm, 360 Fahrenheit, something like that. 350 Fahrenheit for you, Jenna. Or whoever else is on the Fahrenheit measurements. Hashtag get on the same page already. Cheese kebabs. <laughs> she, she. Cheese and tomato kebab. Like when you guys say kebab, I think about something completely different. For me, kebab that's like Turkish, uh, Turkish uh, lamb meat, really. Like a specific recipe. The Ultimate Edition kan ik eerst bij. Oh, dat is wel nice. Anything on a stick you eat is kebab. Uh, I guess so then. But over here, kebab is always like... It's also on a stick, yeah, true. But it's always meat. It's always meat. Mostly lamb. Not 
finished yet. What's up, Clips? Positive vibes. By far the most handsome chicken at the chicken farm. It's Clips. How is Apex going with Loopy Clips? A corn dog ain't kebab. Well, I don't know, even know what a corn dog is. Shit. A ice lolly ain't kebab. True, true. She had enough of it and quit. Ah. But you guys were doing pretty well. I guess Loopy has high standards. Dubbing is a kebab. <laughs> His name is actually Stewie, but for now he's called Bob. Kebab. Dubbing your kebab. Dubbing one week 19. Oh shit, we're getting close to the end, guys. Two more weeks left. Like when I boil pasta, I check it so many times because I want it to be perfect. I don't like when it's not cooked properly yet or overcooked. So I, I check on it like multiple times while I cook it. It is slippery, yeah. And hot too. But I can resist the heat. I can resist it. How are the peas going? Are they well? Are they okay? How are you guys doing? Are you soft yet? Yes. Let's drain that too. Slippery when wet. Oh shit. Spicy shit. All right. There are the garden peas and the green beans. And we're going to mix everything up inside this pan over here. The big one. Let me warm that up already. A little bit of olive oil in there. Just a little bit. I need to buy new olive oil. This one is nearly, nearly empty. So I'm gonna heat up that pan. One more minute. Perfect. Everything is timed perfectly. I love it when a plan comes together. So tonight I'll be back. I'm gonna play some Battlefield again. I haven't uh, played that in four days now. That might not sound long, but for me that's pretty long. Even after all these years, after it's been released and all, all the negative vibes it gotten by the game community, I still enjoy it every time I play it. But I guess if you're good at something, you enjoy it automatically, no matter how bad it is. Because there's no denying it's one of the least good battlefields out there. Like, only Hardline is worse. I think. Team Hannibal. <laughs> Your business is registered in Canada? I didn't know that, Dobbing. So you work for a Canadian, uh, Canadian uh, company. Right, that pan is warm. Yeah, your game is cursed, right? Did you ever get that uh, partnership on cursed, Jenna? Oh, right, pass. 
stop, ready. Let's drain that. The stir frying pan is nice and warm too now. Cheap tax. Oh, smart. Smart move. All right, we're getting closer to the end, guys. We're gonna briefly bake the pasta. Bake pasta, yes, briefly. Sizzling. Let's add the peas and the green beans. And of course, our own Homemade pesto as well. Not everything, as mentioned. The rest will go on a sandwich or something, you know. Oh, it's already starting to smell really good over here. Hey, look at that. We got an outlaw pasta over here. Right, let's mix that up. The smells right now are really good. Mix that up properly. A little bit more pesto. doesn't live there, no. He lives in the UK. He's one of those British blokes. Clips is from Canada, though. But not from Ontario. Colombia. I think the state is called. Oh, this smells so good. Once you add the pesto to this, woo. I'm quickly gonna have a look in the oven, see how the tomato and mozzarella is doing. You get your ass over here, handsome Canadian bester, and I'll share it with you. You know, my door is always open for you, Clips. And back in the old house, I would say you can sleep on my couch, but that's not even necessary anymore, too, because right now in the new house, Clips, we got ourselves a guest room and a guest bed, so you have a nice cozy bed there. You literally only have to pay for your plane ticket and for the stuff you want to do here, but you don't have to, like make reservations at a hotel or anything and spend money on that because you can just and I'm right in the middle of the country too clips so it's a good base of operations to go and do stuffies over here and I'll cook you dinner every night clips and I'll make you a freaking cappuccino in the morning and I will sing you a lullaby if you want to when you go to bed at night I'll take good, I'll take good care of you my friend I try, I try. I try to be. All right. Uh, I think we're ready here. So I got this pan on low fire. I'm kind of quickly cleaning up over here the rest of the pesto back in the fridge. I'm gonna save that, put on a sandwich in the morning or something. And then it's time to make up the plates. So I'm gonna switch the camera to the plates. 
look away if you suffer from motion sickness. As you can see, I got two plates. One for me, one for the missus. Which I'm quickly gonna call. She's upstairs, that dinner is ready. All right, <coughs> presentation time. So first, the pesto. The pasta. I want to create a little hole in the middle, like a donut. Because that's where all the oil from the pesto goes to, to the middle of the plate. So we can put that uh, rocket or argula or rucola. It kind of depends on where you live. I remember yesterday at Clipstream he didn't know what it was, probably because he didn't know the name for it. Because in every part of the world they call it something else. Here it is, Clips. This is what I meant. Some call it Rucola, some, some call it Ar Aragula, some call it Rocket. Over here we say Rucola. So the oil in the middle will kind of go as a dressing for that. It's a really green dish, this one. Lots of green. In the UK you say rocket. Okay, okay. Like the most fancy name for it is Aragula, I think. I think they call it like that in the United States. Not sure though. And we had the mozzarella and tomato, remember? That's really hot, I must say. The kebab, right? <laughs> On a spike, spiked food. Let's clean that. Plate edge, real quick. I'll quickly give one to the missus. She's like my social media assistant. She always makes the photos for me, for Instagram and such. Let's have a closer look here. So we got the pasta pesto with the homemade pesto and the rocket and the green beans and the garden peas and the tomato and mozzarella and the rocket. Oh, I already said that. Very, very nice. Let's put that more in the middle like that. Oh, that's hot. Nom 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 nom. I'm gonna enjoy this like a boss. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's see. Where's my face at? Hello. Hi guys. It's me. Hi. Uh, let's see. What did I miss in chat? Looks beautiful. Give your give your wife the biggest part, the biggest portion. I think I did. <laughs> I'm going back to Battlefield. All right, Dobby, I'll see you tonight. I guess we'll be in Battlefield. Uh, thanks to everybody for hanging out. I'm quickly heading out. Uh, otherwise, this meal will get cold and I don't like that. Well, cold pasta is good too. I'm not gonna rate anybody because yeah, we'll be back later. So no rate. Um, I don't know when the next cooking show will be. I'll let you guys know as always. Um, have a great rest of your evening, day, morning, wherever you are on this blue marble. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care, be safe, and as always, as always, guys, you gotta stay chicken. Later.
Peace. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Much love.